keep time mkumbuku tomorrow equatorial mall keep time so we are looking at the skills of our industry you know i told you that uh, this is one of the most paying highly paying uh, careers in the universe today and uh, which gives you freedom and not only to make money but also to enjoy your money it gives you freedom of finance that's what we call financial freedom and it will also give you time freedom you know some people are making money a uh, huge huge chunk of money but they don't have time to enjoy that money because uh, the, the type of businesses they are doing the type of careers they are doing they are highly demanding in terms of time this is our business which you can do anywhere i love some author he called it uh, beach money it's called beach money uh, that you can go at the beach and still you're making money you can be anywhere and you're making money so it's a skill which can give you the money but also give you the time freedom i hope everyone would like to have something like that it's highly paying it's one of the skills uh the, the opportunity that won't only give you money but give you freedom but also give you money when you're not working you know uh what we call absolutely 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 uh complete a complete residual income money which keeps on coming every single day every single month without you uh, doing anything in particular okay uh so it's really a, a nice opportunity uh, which all of us wish uh, we need now we need to learn how to make it big in this kind of industry it's an industry that can make you rich within five years you know it's not uh, a quick a get quick uh, rich scheme but also it's a, a get rich a steady scheme okay so once you start on this journey just know one day you will be on the road to become successful but you need to learn what to do you need to acquire the skills imagine going to school uh, go, going to a hospital and you find this doctor who is not trained who has no skills and is here uh, wanting a job to work at you at the hospital would you accept to put your back there and this guy so you cannot accept that you understand and you just know that which you again the caller it's going to end up into a failure because the guy is not trained the guy is not skilled so what do you think why do you think you would come here and you start making money without you being skilled without you being trained so ladies and gentlemen we need to be trained we need to be skilled in this industry so among the skills we've been covering i have told you that always i've shared these uh, trainings on youtube they are on youtube go on youtube and find those who miss you missed and even if you attended go back and uh, review go and back and revise and uh, we shall just go on youtube and put in the new activated uh, members training it's in a series there is part one up to part six i think so let us today look at in the other skill. The another skill we are looking at is uh, the following up like a pro. Uh, following up like a pro. Okay. So following up like a pro, what are you going to do? This is the art of following up. This is the art of following up. Okay. Uh, here they are saying that few people make decisions to take action, to register, or to activate, or to advertise immediately. Uh, when you go there to talk to people and you do a perfect presentation the way you saw in the last uh, trainings we saw how to do a presentation we saw how to close how to handle objections how to handle rejections but the next thing here is to follow up you know this is the moment you have finished talking to the person a follow-up is what you do after your initial initial pitch uh, to encourage the prospect to take action you know taking action is something which is very difficult for many people many people they would have the idea they would love the idea they would need to do it you know their heart inside them they would it will tell them that okay this is a good idea this is a great something great this is something i need but the problem comes on action to take the action that's where the problem comes okay so few people will take the action instantly you know i've i've, I've, I've been in this industry of uh sales talking to people okay conducting presentations and uh, i want to tell you that rarely have i found people whom you show the opportunity and immediately they take action 
most of the people, majority of the people we talk to, they don't take action instantly. Okay, so the question comes, what do I do, coach, after I've done a presentation to this person and this person seems interested or this person seems not interested or this person seems that he has objections. So what do I have to do? That's where many people are confused. After registering someone, but someone is not activating. What can I do, coach? I have 20 people. I have 100 people. They are there, but they are doing nothing. No one is activating. No one is taking an extra step. Coach, what do I do now? I have talked to all my people. I want to be able to So what do I do? So if you are that kind of person who has been troubled, today is your day. Today is your training. Okay? Coach, what do I do after talking to a person? I want the person to advertise. It tells me, okay, I will see what to do about it. Coach, what do I do next? Now, that is the training for you. I don't know whether someone is, is following. If you're one of those people and uh, you've been in that kind of uh, situation, just go in the chat room and let me know that a uh, coach, you know what? Uh, following up is one of the problems I've been facing. I have people, I have registered people, but uh, these people are not activating. I want to see uh, you guys, what are your problems this side? Maybe I can also use that to beef up my training, okay? To know where exactly you guys, you are finding troubles when you are following up people. So this is where we are going to look at what you do, the art of following up, following up like a pro. Are you seeing this guy down there is holding, what do they, what do they call that? <laughs> golf stick. Is it a golf stick or is it a bat? <laughs> I don't know. One of the two. But let me use the stick. Now, that is a golf stick or a golf bat. And uh, there is a golf down there. Okay. Now, this guy, you see, I want to say, I'm going to go to the house. Okay. <laughs> now, you know, golf, if you have ever really seen how they play golf, if, if you want that ball to go far, okay, you swing the, the stick, the golf stick, or oh, the stick, but you swing uh, to the, to the right. Okay, and the more you want it to go far, you swing on the right far. Okay, then you bring and you hit the ball with efforts. But once you hit, you have to follow on the left with the ball. You hit and even you put the efforts to throw that ball, okay, some distance with the bat until you leave the ball to go. Is it called the ball? Is it called the golf? <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> okay, so that's when you want it to go far. But if you want it to go, to go just uh, a, a, few, a, few, a few inches, okay? Uh, you see, then you can just a few inches. You know, I need to go and start the new things. Eh? <laughs> so once, once you want it to go just a few inches, what do you do? You hit it small and you don't add anything. Small, okay? And it goes and drops into, into the port, okay? Uh, and uh, re remember, after putting in this big swing, it may not fall directly in the port. So you will have to follow up and go and find where the ball has is, it has dropped and you add another small kind of effort to lead it, it, it into the port. That's what they call following up. But some people, they hit the first. Imagine this golf guy hitting the ball first and he expect the ball to hit the port. Is it possible? Probably. Not possible. Not possible. You hit the first time, the ball goes and you carry what when you're going to zoom away dear coach uh, we just got a boss uh, i want i need to read about these golf things eh? where are they uh -huh. uh -huh. I, I saw something here uh, la, la, la. let me try to find it okay uh, in the chat room here uh golf Golf club, 
it is my first time here. <laughs> it's quite good. And this is uh, pro on call. Okay. Uh, then golf, golf ball. It's good golf ball. Then golf club, golf hall. Hey, hey, coach. <laughs> now we're talking money. Now we're talking money, guys. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I was telling you that uh, uh, once you hit it, once you hit it, you need to follow up. You carry your golf club, your your golf golf go, go, golf uh, golf stick. You carry your golf ball. I don't know, not your your your, your luggage. Or lose your number Sometimes even if you don't know the and they follow, they follow what? They follow the the, the ball. Okay, the golf ball. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> the golf ball. You can get there. They follow and they go. Okay, and they find it somewhere, very close to hit the pot, but and say then the go the golf ball hits the pot so ladies and gentlemen that let this this game teach you how to close businesses have you ever realized why abaganga bazanya nyo muzanyo guno maybe it's the reason that they learn the skill of following up you need to follow up you need to follow up in order to hit the jack. Okay? You need to follow up. Now, imagine when you're not following up. Okay? Someone is saying, dear coach, this is a problem to everyone. Just go on board. That's Senda Galas. Thank you so much. Ramla says, coach, follow up. Following up is my biggest problem. Ella, when I leave, I don't go back. I consider it a rejection. Can you imagine? Yeah, I, 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 I can feel it. I can feel it. Rashid, I can feel it. That many people they are having a problems in following up. Okay, you are very true, dear coach. It is only the most of them that are so big headed. Okay, fantastic. So following up, are you finding problems in following up? Are you finding problems on what to say after someone says no? After someone says I'm not interested, what do you do? After someone says ah uh, ah, uh, if you're severe gala. After one says, someone says you, let me go and consult my, my judge. Let me go and consult my husband. What do you say? What do you say next? Okay. What do you say next? Once this has happened, I had forgotten to put on my video. Eh? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is me. Those who have never seen me for the, uh, before. Uh, this is Coach Zion. This is Coach Zion. Okay. All right. Let's continue. How do you follow up? So here they are telling you that initially, okay, initially, few people are able to go out and make the decision for the very first time, okay? So what happens? What should we do? Okay, in sales, the money is in the follow-up. Just know that, ladies and gentlemen. In sales, the money is in the follow-up, okay? Now, in sales, on average, 80%, now these are statistics and facts. In sales, on average, 80% of sales require an average of five follow-ups in order to close that deal. 80%. It means every time you do a presentation, remember in, when we were talking about presentation, that uh, you can uh, do 10 presentations, and you get only one success story, one closed deal. That is 10%. Out together, 10%. But look at this. They are telling you 80% of those 10% you will ever get, okay, will require you to make an average of five follow-ups before you get that one. Okay, coach, now, okay, now you're confusing us. Let me put you right. Boyo get an abantu kumi. Chances is it in tea. Kwaba bantu kumi. Omuntu omu. Again, the closing a deal now. A quick business. On average. You can, do, you can do two, you can have three, you can have four, you can have five. That can be when you're so good in selling. But averagely, every time you talk to 10 people, one person will activate. 
Okay, coach, now I'm trying to understand. Now, it means if you register 10 people, only one will activate. I'll come back and I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, how many registrations do you have on your first level? How many registrations? Now, look at how many activations do you have? You will find that there is something like a ratio appearing. Let, uh, guys who are on this platform, just to go on the chat room and just write for me how many registrations you have and how many activations you have on your first level. If you have 10 accounts, just give me every account has how many and how many activations are on that account. We want to see this ratio, whether it's true or it's a lie, okay? Now, out of 10 people who register, maybe one would go ahead and close a deal with you. That is 10%. It means if you have 10 people, on average, you should be having one person who has activated. But if you have 10 people and five have activated, man, you're good. Man, you're good in closing. If you have 100 people and 10 have activated, wow, that's average. That's average. But if you have 100 people and out of 100, 50 have activated, 50, man, you're good. You're having 50% activations, closing deals. Now, some people, some of you get frustrated because you have registered 10 people and two have only activated and you feel now uh, uh, very, very demotivated. Terezo Mutwego, learn the averages. Learn the averages, okay? Out of 100 people in our business, on average, an average salesperson will have only 10 out of 100. Now, if you have 20 people out of 100, if you have 30 people out of 100, if you have 40 people out of 100, if you have 50 people out of 100, if you have 90 people out of 100, man, you're a genius. You deserve to go in the world book of records. So, guys, before you feel discouraged, before you feel disappointed, look on the averages. Here, numbers apply. It's a game of numbers. It's a game of numbers. Go back and check. But now, after looking at that, there is another thing. There is, what will be you get you? It goes on another level. They are telling you that our, our activities, Eh? Kwaba abakoze activation. 80% of them, okay, it required you to do a follow up at least five times in order to close that deal. Unfortunately, 44% of those people follow up with the prospect only once before giving up. Katiba majority of singer, they follow up only once and they give up if they follow up. And some completely don't even follow up. After doing a presentation, I'm not interested. You understand? Some of you are even blocking people who have rejected you. You have even blocked them who have said, I'll look too late later. You don't even go back to them. You don't even call them anymore. Okay? So many, 44%, okay? 44% of the prospect, they do what? 44% of people follow up with the prospect only once before they're giving up. After four, four follow-ups contact, 94% of sales people have already given up. To talk to someone, you don't go the 50th time. Yet we are telling you here that on average, 80% of these people who do close a sale, you have to contact them five times. Let me read some messages here. I can see some messages here in the chat room. And we see, we see, okay, we see the averages. Let us see the averages here. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Peter is, says 60 on level one, 23 activations. Can you imagine? 
he has 60 peter has 60 registrations but he has 23 activations peter you're good you're good out of these 60 you should be having six activations <laughs> you should be having six that is 10 percent 12 people that would be 20 percent okay 18 people that would be 30 percent 24 people that would be 40 percent so peter you your score is at 40 percent your closing skills are at 40 percent can you imagine 40 percent in sales is good julius account has 71 registration with 31 actives uh-huh but after they came after massive follow-ups that is the point that's the point you can see julius is almost approaching 50 percent 40 percent to us okay i'll continue uh-huh divine has 54 registration but 28 active 28 active this is almost 50 percent divine is good okay almost 50 percent you guys you're genius yeah then anod has 140 registrations 21 activations okay now anod is good in registration is good in presentations okay but maybe something here out of the 140 14 that is 10 percent then uh, 28 that is 20 percent anod is is almost approaching 20 20 20 20 percent 20 percent now 20 percent 20 percent wow it's good it's good it's good averagely it's good anod then julius uh level 2 44 plus 26 that is very fantastic uh samia 76 and 28 activations uh, guys i think you can see the numbers the numbers here apply the numbers are applying the numbers are applying there is what they call the law of averages thank you so much those who have contributed so people they follow up four times following and they give up and they give up and they give up and they give up so what do we do i'm telling you in sales the money is in the following up if you're not following up forget about the money the fortune in sales is in the follow up okay we continue look at this 92% of sales representatives or sales people give up after the fourth call hear this 92% of the sales people they give up after the fourth contact yet 80% of prospects they say no four times how many four times before they say yes <laughs> they will say no four times before they say yes so coach if someone says no what should i do <laughs> the person has refused my business what should i do next that's why we are having this train tonight what do you do after your first pitch are we together ladies and gentlemen is this a nice kind of training okay is this a nice kind of training uh-huh what do you do what do you do because look at these statistics these are amazing that 92 percent of sales it means only eight percent they go the fifth the question i have for you my sister my brother who is on this zoom right now how many times do you have do you follow up a person how many times do you follow up a person because 92 percent of guys they don't skip the fourth call they end on the fourth yet 80 percent of the prospects will say no four times before they say yes it means there is a chance to say yes even to a person who has said no julius one time told told us about the lady who abused her who him who abused him okay in the first pitch but the lady became a vip later you understand 
So it means when a person says no, a no is not a no completely. A no means next opportunity. Okay? No is part of the business. But how do you treat the no? How do you handle a person when the person has not activated an account? What do you do next? But we know Kuiga as professionals. I told you I'm training professionals. And the kind of training I'm giving you, taking the Kuiya Mbawa no Oka, again the Kuiya Mbawa Murio Estate, it will help you in closing business deals, closing contracts, sitting for interviews. This kind of training, you guys, you need, have to, you need to pay even to attend this kind of training. You need to pay. But imagine you're saving it for free. And many, many people, they are, they are not even attending this kind of training. And they are busy, but they are looking for money. They are busy, but they are talking to people. <laughs> Sometimes I look at them and I pity people. Facts. Now let us look at the art of following up. Fact number one. Do you know the number one reason why a prospect won't get back to you? Write a prospect the end get is back to you after presentation. You expect a prospect to come to you. Many of you, 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 it's an Amulaga business, Katia Mani. Now the ball is in their court. Uh huh. Yeah, Mani. Namgaba advertising Katia Mani. Oh, huh. Many of them will not get back to you. Majority of the guys we talk to, they will not get back to you. Now, why would someone get back to me after doing a wonderful, perfect presentation? It's not because they are not interested, but it's because they are busy. The people you want to close business with, some of them, they are so busy. They are decision makers. They have a lot of conflicting priorities to juggle and many different demands on their time. Person wants to join the business. Now you know A person wants to join the business. Now you know birthday party coming. You know Ugandans. Someone tells you, ah, Nandi join is about I have a birthday party. So I need to organize a party. <laughs> you understand? And they are, they are looking at that as a priority as well. Now you, you need to be able to respect their decisions all together. So decision makers, they have a lot of conflicting priorities before them. Someone wants to advertise, but also has to pay rent. He has to advertise, but also he has to pay the workers. He has to do the deal with you, but he has other priorities. And other things are demanding their time. Someone, you show them the business tonight, you do a wonderful presentation, and guess what? They are fully interested, but they forget tomorrow. The moment you step out of the room, tomorrow they are forgetting why. They have a lot of things that are stressing them demanding their time probably they are not ignoring you because they don't want your offer you just need to be tenacious enough tenacious enough okay tenacious enough to do what to get their attention or you know but if you're doing a presentation once and you don't go back then you're not doing the right things in sales Am I communicating? Dear coach, sometimes nose even exit 10 times. You're right. We should make nose our daily food. <laughs> so guys, let me tell you this, uh, that these people, they have a lot. Hmm? They have a lot on their table. So when they don't get back to you, it's not because they're not interested in your offer. But sometimes they have a lot on their table. They have priorities to first work on. So now when I tell you, you go see this. So that's why you begin to quit a bit. You get my point? So what do we do? We need some techniques. Techniques in following up. What are some of the techniques we can use? Here, follow up techniques. Number one, 
use a variety of follow-up methods. Now, you need to have different following up methods. How you get in touch with these guys again, okay? One, use a variety of follow up methods. Now, in the case you follow up by text, maybe you want to get a text. Hey, we talked about the business and uh, uh, this is happening, blah, blah, blah. You told me you are going to join, you went to, you went to design, to, 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 to advertise, and the guy is not responding. Tasha, Tasha, Tasha responding, okay? You may need to, to pick the phone and call directly. Mukubi the sim, go ahead and call. Or let me message it as responding, it as in the mood, the guy is not answering messages, then call. Try another method. They may be always busy to answer your call, maybe. Try the email, try emailing them. Or try to WhatsApp them, go on WhatsApp and send them a WhatsApp. Okay. What I'm saying is that you don't stick to one communication method. You get my point? Because different people prefer different communication methods. I'll give an example. If you try to communicate to Zion and you're using email or web day, <laughs> because me, I rarely check my emails personally. If you try to communicate to me and uh, you're using a messenger, Facebook messenger or web day, I will see your message six months later because I'm not good in those kind of methods. If you're using uh, these Texts, SMS, SMS text. My God. Sometimes I take long without checking my SMS. But if you want me to get me easily, find me on WhatsApp. I'll be able to respond quickly. I'll respond quickly. Okay? Then you, you try calling me. If I, if I have a business with you and you call me today, I, will, I wouldn't want you to call me tomorrow. Maybe if you try to WhatsApp, then I would respond. So when you're trying to communicate with these people in following up, use different method because different people have a different touch. How about giving them a visit? Over them, over text team, over them, and the next day, poof, you are the office. Hey, how are you? You understand? So use different tactics of following up. Use different methods. You can call, you can text, you can... Uh, you can, you can WhatsApp, you can email, you can email, you can do physical visitation and you follow up physically. So don't stick to one when you're following up. Okay? You are saying that sometimes we show people our business when they have a lot of trouble and problems and they seem not interested. Kumbe, they like the business, ma'am. Yeah, that's true. Some people, they will say no because of the time they are in, the time we talked about the time. When the person is not ready, you feel you don't understand. So you show them the business, they feel not interested, they are not in the mood, not because they don't like the business, but a lot is happening. And right now, the business is not the priority. So this goes even when these people are in WhatsApp groups and they exit. When you see someone lifting your group, onyigira na wo, ekato yaganye business. No, follow up and no. I saw you getting out of the group. What is happening? And someone will tell you, my phone ye chanze. Bambi nzizamu. Someone may tell you, no, no, no. I have a lot of groups. Now let me exit this one. I stay in the other. But because of your negativity, the moment a person clicks left, eh, no, yeah, again. No, I gotta say it. No, no, no. Who told you I gotta say it? Who told you doesn't like the opportunity? So we need to follow up. We need to follow up. We need to follow up. I repeat, we need to follow up. So when a person, you have presented the business, following up, you need to use different methods of communication. I hope I'm loud and clear. Okay, next. Space it out. Do what? Space it out. The quickest way to annoy your prospect and put them off is not following up too many times. Because some of you may say, I can't scotch them. When we're following up, we're going to be following up. Young number, don't read the business. So what should I do? 
tanyige eh tanyige kubanga already business na jimulagadda na jimulagadda now you know, I have talked to him now when i do it, following up too many times what a person feel like i'm nagging i'm desperate no that is not what puts them off following up them to uh, too too often or too many times what puts a prospect off is spacing the follow up too closely to one another wakamulaga business wakamulaga wamukamu following up then tomorrow no mudamu the other day no mudamu now you become nagging some of you even you go ahead if you're calling someone and is not picking you you know what you do you pick another phone mguni pa kusimu yao you borrow a phone from a neighbor and you use their phone and you call now the person picks and say hey so you are not even picking me now you are avoiding me why do you have to do that those are amateurs who are doing that let amateurs do that not you don't call a person three times if you call a person and is not picking muleke give them space maybe they are not they are busy where they are they cannot answer your call in fact call once if a person is not picking you don't call at least after 30 minutes if you call after 30 minutes and the person is not picking the the, the phone okay pass like one hour again and call the third time and if the third time is not picking don't call again give them space do what give them space you need to space out these follow ups but you call someone's phone no jiremera ko no jimara ko no muliro you become nagging o sindika messages akumu kumu akubulu tikinga takudamu nainga no weleza no weleza no forwarding no forwarding no forwarding they will block you because now you are annoying onyiza otama <laughs> otama you know so space out now there is no exact time space that can be uniform because every client has its own but daily daily may not be appropriate the daily thing may annoy the prospect and once a month is not enough so what should we do once a month even once a month is not enough but at least weekly may work depending on the client's response okay igi i will i will present the idea to the board next week okay so the guy can may tell you that uh i will present the board next week thank you for the business i think we like to do advertisement with you guys but i would need to check my team maybe next week okay now should we ex now when should we expect to follow up this guy hmm? i will present the idea to the board next week now when should we expect for you to follow up this contact when do you expect gaya gambie i will do the presentation next week maybe today is what it's friday and the guy tells you i will uh, i will do the presentation to my team next week on wednesday so when should you follow up this person is it on monday is it on tuesday is it tomorrow okay because some people may tell you that you follow up after 24 hours but the guy gave you a response that uh, i will be doing the i will present this idea to my team next wednesday so when should you follow up this guy on wednesday so oyino ko sana ko because this is an art of following up use your head when should we follow up this person are we together i hope i'm communicating Uh huh thank you Julius for Okay let me read something here The thing I'm saying is my data evaporated in thin air recharged but network is in tondo <laughs> Come back to Kampala Mr Peter Actually following up is helping people to make money and we are paid for helping people to make money in our business so we should not get tired of following up our prospects after next week Wednesday So 
is telling you that I will be presenting the, open, the idea next week on Wednesday. So when should you follow up? Not on Tuesday, but at least Wednesday or even above. Let's continue. You need to space it out. In other words, you understand? Don't become nagging. Have you ever seen people who nag? They nag you. And the time preaches, people run away from you. Because every time they see you, the first thing you tell them, before, even if, before you greet them, when are you activating? When are you activating? Now, activating becomes activating. When are you activating? When are you activating? Now, you, become, you begin hunting them. It's called the hunting. We have hunters in our business. You shouldn't be a hunter. We shall talk about the, the types of uh, uh, presentations and following up methods. There are those who are hunters. There are those who are fishers. There are those who are farmers. In our business, we have hunters. We have fishers. We have farm uh, uh, hunters. Hunters, fishers, and, and what? And hunters. What are you? Are you a hunter? Are you a fisher? Are you a farmer? These are different kind of uh, following up approach uh, uh, techniques. Let me just give it to you briefly because it's not part of the presentation. Uh, the hunter, the hunter, whenever a hunter hunts, he kills. A hunter uses more efforts. A hunter just chases. Uh, sagula na goba. He uses a spear. When a hunter gets a prey, okay, he kills it. Hunter, atabusi. Hunter, the prey is in front. And the prey is running away from the hunter. And the hunter is chasing the prey with the spears, with the pangas, with arrows and bows to kill the prey. And the moment he gets it, it's dead. Now, some people are hunters. You use all approaches. The person is not picking you, use another type of phone to call them. You're a hunter. So you become nagging. They don't, they don't do the one who tamper sent the silver. Once, if you don't activate, if you don't activate today, I'm not going away. Someone, uh, maybe you go on their shop, no quarter drawer, no jam sent. I'm, I'm signing you up today. Now you're a hunter, my brother. You're nagging. You're nagging. And that person will activate to please you. They will do nothing. Coach, what you want to be signing a business? Maybe you are a hunter. Maybe you got a dead prey. Wafuno mu nyama nainga mufu. Teguzala. Hunters, they get dead prey. What kind of downlines do you have? Are they alive or are they dead? Did they activate because they wanted? Or they activate because you wabali imba imba? You hoodwinked them. You convinced them. You paid for them. Uh-huh. That one. You paid for them. <laughs> you, you paid for them. Most of the time, the people we pay for, they are dead. Oh, God. <laughs> they are dead. So, are you a hunter? Two. If you are not a hunter, are you a farmer? Let me talk about a fisher Let me, before I talk a farmer. A fisher, a fisher, he attracts. He gets a bait. You know bait? Afunaka bait ke, nakateka kudobo, nakateka mumazi. Narinda. Okay? Uh, a hunter uh, chases the prey without baits. A fisher puts a bait. A kwataka hook, you put a, a worm, you put in the water and you stay quiet and silent and you wait. Uh huh. So, are you a hunter or are you a fisher? Fishing in this industry is whereby you give over all of over skills, over later. Maybe you pass by, no more airtime, or what's a digital advert? See, nothing like a cash back. Have you seen? You make money. Come, I take you out. 
no mtu lako out naja kumere no mga ba this is the status of digital no zola but za digital are you together so you're, you're, you're putting things which attract them they are baits baits now baits are good <laughs> baits are good baits are what baits are good but the only challenge with baits when a person takes a bait no muhu kinga eh bomalo muhu kinga challenge again that could be the he will not see what she saw before she activated wamulaganga sente to wamulaga we zija zitya okay but ngulaga just lifestyle or you are kabi or yambala you know I have seen some networkers here who put on suits. They put on suits in the back, 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 they, they pose on cars, you know, they have cars. Some of them, they even have cars, big cars. And these are nice things. Okay, these are nice things. But they are attracting. It's called attract marketing, uh, attraction marketing. You attract the people to come in the business, but you're not showing them the reality of the business, the other part of the business. I have seen people who hype you hype you hype the business and the business seems to be too good to be true that in the the sina chenkola nkera bukezo onentula nga sente ziyingira sina chenkola nze neba kawe basinga sente ziyingira i chitufu ziyingira na yizitia how now the, the problem with attract marketing the fishers you can get the person ku hook na kwata but to keep the fish you should keep it on the hook <laughs> or you should kill it otherwise you have to put it back in the water uh-huh so you see a chenyanja wamalo chihu kino chikuata either chikumi le kuhuku oba chize yomu mazi oba secho chirie oh that is now deep eat it some people we have attracted them into the business with our checks, with our back balance, with the, together WhatsApp, while you could set us mm, today I made a hundred K. Tomorrow I made a hundred million. I made this. That is also good. Attract marketing. But the question is, will the person do something? So you bring a person in the business, but the person does some, nothing. Then lastly, we have the farmers. The farmers plant the seed of the business. They follow up the guy with the right information. They irrigate. They irrigate. They put fertilizers. And guess what? The person who grows in the business understands how the business works. And once the business, the person understands how the business works, that person will germinate, will put on fruits, bear seeds to give birth to other plants or crops. That's what we should do. We shouldn't be farmers in our business. And a farmer, you should be able to space out your follow-ups doing the right thing. Are we together? Don't nag people, but nurture people. Don't nag people, but nurture people. Are we together? Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? I saw a message here. Let me try to read it. Someone text a message here in the chat room. Okay. Let me try to look here. I hope you guys, you're learning. If you're learning, you say, coach, we are learning. Okay. Mm. Our pro on call says, some of us activated and we were not shown what to do until I approached my upline to help me. I'm actually the one hunting my uplines. <laughs> Can you imagine? These are hunters. These are hunters. They hunt you. They bring you in the business and they do nothing. Customer lo mwa sente za activation ni. Chiba chiwe de. Tagenda kuda is a hunter. Atabusi. Tanachari inga. They don't nacha. And we have our business stakeholder. Coach, my people are not working. They are hunters. Check yourself. Are you a hunter? Are you a fisher? Are you a farmer? Some of you are doing attract marketing, which is good. Attraction marketing, it's good. But the question comes, will these people you are bringing the business, will they be able to do the same thing you are doing? Coach, I have 13 millions in this business. If I use that as a bait, it will get people. It will get people. Honestly, it will get It's a bait. It's a nice bait. It will get people. 
but the people I will get probably I will have to adjust each of them. I make the forty, I enjoy. I that is a harsh. I will just make the forty, enjoy the forty, and I move on. Because they will not do something. They will not earn 13 million because Sazi Funying and two devil tools, guys. I haven't earned these 20 million in this business just when I'm seated. You guys, I am making over a 300,000 weekly here in advertisement commissions. Coach told you, uh, CEO told you on, on Wednesday. I am making over 300,000 weekly here. But Situ Labu Tools, Kuzikola. Now, when I show you the 300 every week, you may be excited and join the business. But you know what I'm doing to earn that 300,000? I'm just sleeping. So we need to learn what to do, ladies and gentlemen. We need to learn what to do. So space out your follow-up. But uh, space out the presentations or the following up. Let's go next and we see. And before I go next, let me first read these messages. We are learning in official things. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, then Julia says, Coach, we are learning seriously. Uh, Peter says, we are learning. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for, uh, for keeping me uh, on, on the mood. Number three, how do you follow up like a pro? Okay. Provide value with each follow up you make. Provide value. Let me tell you one thing. Your prospect don't want, doesn't want to feel as if you are only looking for what you can get out of them. Because sometimes prospect again, I hate this guy. What is the matter? What you're pursuing is only to make the 40,000. Only what you're making looking to, for him to give you that advert of 100 people. <laughs> Uh, Julia says, we, I think we need to apply all the three depending on the, on the time and the demand. <laughs> okay, you can apply them. I, 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 you can become a fisher, you can become a hunter, you can become, a, <laughs> but as a pro, a pro, a professional, you must be a farmer. You must be a farmer. You may grow slowly, but that is the right thing to do. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? Julius, Okubera Hunter Chirunji, Okubera Fisher Chirunji, Naye H. Singo Bulunji is to become a farmer. We are not because they say attract, but when you attract, become a farmer. But hunting is not advisable. I wouldn't advise hunting. Hunting, a time you about business here, it spoils the profession. Okay, let's look at providing what providing a value i provide value with each follow-up you do your prospect don't want to feel as if you are looking at what you can get from them show them it's about show them it's not about you or your product but it's about them when you're following up people make sure that it's about them okay so how do i do this Ask them how they are, how the business is moving, how life is going. Let me tell you one thing. The world doesn't care how much you know or do, but the world cares how much you care. You should be able to show the care. They should, love, they should feel the love. They should look, feel that you're so much caring about them. So you go into someone's inbox. Someone told you I was sick, but even you don't go and give a visit. When you call, you don't even ask them about their children. You don't even ask them about their kind of work they are doing. Okay? So provide value. Show them it's all about them. It's not about you. Number two. Keep notes about the prospect's pains, okay? And problems they are trying to solve. Because these guys we're meeting, they have problems. When you're sharing the opportunity, you need to interact with them to know what kind of problems they're going through. 
always center your conversation there. Remember, you are, you sell the solution. So even if someone wants them to join your business, just know why they would join the business. Why would they be interested to join your business? Have that, those buttons to know the prospect. Someone tells you, I'm, I'm my job, you know, there is a, a, a lady I talked to recently, I think it was last week, and uh, she told me, coach, I'm a teacher, but I'm tired of teaching. These guys are not paying us money. You know, last time they gave us 20,000. At the end of the time, I asked her, 20,000? Was it for TPC? What? What was 20,000 for? You know, the, 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 the director told us they don't have money, so they gave us 20,000, 20, the teachers, as we're going for holiday. I said, what? <laughs> and I asked her, what are you still doing there? Say, coach, I have nowhere to go. This is, a, this, this is the kind of job I have. I can demand them. They're not paying us. Private school. I told her, okay, you need to find a way out of this school as soon as possible. She told me, that's coach, that's why I'm here. I want to learn how to use digital adverts. It, you know, we talked. So every time you call this, I call this lady, I should focus my attention there. How do we solve that problem? Because she's tired. So these clients you meet, you need to focus on their problems. Number three, include a link of, to, to a relevant presentation or video in your follow-up text. In the case you're following up a person and you happen to have a presentation of coach, maybe presentation of CEO about digital mall, you know, share the link such that this prospect are in, in their free time they can go through the presentation. So give them the link. Okay, please, you can tell, please check out this link in your free time. Ah, you give them the link so they can get more information about the opportunity. Number next, notify them on uh, special offers, promotions, limited time discounts. This gives you an opportunity to engage a person you are taking long to talk to. So this time you call, hey, hi, hi, Jane, how are you? Have you realized that we are having this promotion going on? You can become a digital landlord. How? This promotion is going to give you a, a, a chance for you to be able to collect rent from people who are having shops. By the way, you need to first have your shop. Then also after having your shop, you become a landlord. So this is a promotion and to be various, uh, uh, it will be uh, uh, fantastic. It will be great. So can I pass by, by the way? I need to tell you more about this, okay? So when there is a new promotion, when there is a new product, when there is a new discount in the company, be able to talk to these guys that the next time you talk to them, make sure that every time you talk to this person, there is something new. Make sure every time you are talking to a prospect, you are offering value. Don't just prospect and inbox them. Don't just call them without offering value. I hope I'm loud and clear on that. I see some messages here, let me read them. Uh huh. I'm learning to landlord your tutorial coach. You are right, coach, dear coach. It's better we irrigate these people until when we win. Yeah, true. However much we want to become landlord, it's not good to hunt people because every time you hunt people, it will come back to you. It will come back to you. That's why you find people who say, give me back my money. Give me back my money. What you promised me is not what you're giving. You hunted or you fished. You never irrigated. You never farmed. You understand? So, we were in those methods of hunting. The reason why people come to your inbox and say, please, the centers have to give us back our money. Somewhere, somehow, you hunted or you fished. Okay, I'm trying to wind up. Our time is fast spent. Number four, and this will be the last before I give you the last nuggets. Always define the next step. Okay, define the next step. One of the common follow-up mistakes salespeople do is failure to clear, clearly define the next step in the process of prospecting. Okay? You, you, you fail to clearly give the next, what's next? Always define the next step. Iggy, if a prospect says, I will discuss the matter with the team next week on Monday. Okay? Then say, I will call you to follow up with you on Tuesday morning 
10 a.m. Is that okay with you? And the prophet will say, yeah, probably call me at 10 a.m. Or call me at 2 p.m. Don't just hang up the phone and say, okay, I will call you next week. Be specific on the next step. Someone tells you, I will be advertising uh, maybe at the end of the month. Okay. So when he says that, go ahead and say, okay, fine. So should I call you uh, on the 30th or on the 1st of next week? Okay. Or of the next month? So you, you call me around the 50th. Around 50th. Okay. 5th of, of, of September? Yes. Okay. I'll give you a call on 5th of September around 10 a.m. in the morning. Say yes. Such that you know what is the next step you're going to do. Such that when you call this, this person, he remembers he, you, you promised. And when you call them, tell them, you had told me to call you back on the 5th. Now, you, 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 you sound so, uh, you, you, you sound authoritative. You sound not beggy, you know. You don't sound desperate. You're following up professionally. But the person tells you, I will activate next week. And you start calling on, on Friday. Hey, hi. You told me you are activating next week. Today is Friday. Two days to go. <laughs> then on Sunday, Sunday evening. Uh, hello. This is Sunday. You are saying next week. You not so? So next week is starting today. So tomorrow, you know, guys, you're, 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 you're nagging. You're annoying, you're desperate, you're hunting, okay? Otama. So the person will say, eh, but nah, net, net. now you will call in the morning, you will see your number, you will not pick. You will lodge in the you will not pick. You will not pick. Now you change the phone. Coach, you will call me, you will call me, you will call me, you will call me, you call me. Hey, I've called you three times. You're not picking. The person will just switch it off. You're nagging, otama. Mutami abantu business here fe. That's why people say I don't like those. If I'm if I'm going to join the business, I'm going to be like you. I I rather not join. You understand? So guys, the amateurs, mukola ubi business. Mujitami abantu namwene namwene batami ram. That's why you people say eh. If you talk salary, if you are going, that's how teachers suffer, but they don't see it. <laughs> so guys. Define the next step. On follow up, we shall see follow up later uh, with more with more techniques. But let me give you these tips, and I'll I'll, I'll end here because I can see it's a half past eleven. Follow up until the person buys or dies. Never get tired of following up. Number two, keep in touch with the prospect. Keep in touch. Just keep in touch. Tomosala ko tokolachi. Keep in touch. Number three, build a relationship more than closing the deal. Time which is when you buy, you don't talk about even the business, but you talk about them. Talk about you and them. You can even go out and you don't talk anything about the business. Build more relationship than closing the deal. Number four, ensure more exposure to the business or products. Every time you have a, for example, tomorrow you're having a presentation, call those guys. When you present, hi. Tomorrow there is a, this presentation at Equatorio. Please, can you come? Invite them for the next exposure. I know they saw the business, but invite them again for the next exposure. Those who are registered, invite them again. Maybe tomorrow may be their time. Okay? So give them more exposures. And lastly, create a follow-up communication channel. For example, create WhatsApp groups, create a, a WhatsApp broadcasts, such that every time, at least you are putting information of value to these people. I've done this when I started the business. I had registered eight people. I put in the, them in the group and I kept give them, giving them value, keeping them, giving them value, nurturing them, irrigating them. That's how I've been able to build a team of over 10,000 people. Ladies and gentlemen, that makes Max the end of today's training. Uh, we shall, next time, we shall look at how to get a new person uh, started right. How do you get a new person started right? Once the person activates, what comes next? Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe if someone has a question, you can inbox or watch out on the chat. With Somia. If anything is disturbing you in follow up, please, I'm giving you uh, two to three uh, people. You can get in the chat room if you have any question, or you can just appreciate. And I know that at least I have offered value to you. Instead of giving me money, 
just I can just give me a thank you and say coach thank you for this uh, I'll be glad and uh, it gives me energy to prepare for next Tuesday to show you what you need to do with the person who has just activated. Uh, Julia says, thanks coach so much. I uh, love the coach, oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much, uh, Julius, for always uh, accompanying the presentation and also being on. Thank you so much, I love that. Nafia says, thank you so much coach. We truly appreciate your efforts. Uh, God bless you, God bless you too, Nafisha. I believe I'm adding value to you guys. And not only here in digital adverts, but in life at large. And I believe whatever I'm giving you will add some value to you, okay? Thank you so much, Nafisha. All right, uh -huh. anyone else? Uh, Rashida says, thanks coach, have learned a lot. You're welcome. Agent Divine says, thanks papa for the value. I'm humbled. I'm humbled that I'm able to add value to you guys. I don't say thanks coach for this wonderful session, uh, for this wonderful session. Uh huh. Uh huh. Truly transformed now. Thank you so much. Brian says, it's given a change in my approach. Thanks, coach, for the guidance. You're welcome, Brian. Thank you. Peter says, coach, can you display uh, the own? Uh, can you display the one screen first point on follow up? First point on follow up. Okay. On the screen, the first point on follow up. I think. You, you, let me see here. Uh, huh. the, uh, do you th do, are you saying that? Uh, use value, variety of follow up methods. Hope that was what you, you were talking about. A single bar, I don't know whether it's that one. Uh huh. Okay, 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 okay. Let me continue. Come on, 19 says, Thanks, coach, sir. Learned a lot today. You're welcome. Anand says. Please share that document to us. I will be sharing the document after finishing this series. Uh, it is a series I'm preparing uh, step by step. So after finishing it, I'll be uh, sharing the document with all, 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 because it's a new distributors uh, meeting. Okay, so it will be, uh, it will come all of it uh, when it's compiled together. I'll also be able to make hard copies for people who want hard copies. I'll make them. Uh, for you guys to be able to use this okay uh all up peter the first point i think that one's the one uh -huh. Coach. a single man you you will get the, the nourishment if you cannot find it okay uh Pierre Onkol says, I barely know anything. What's your name on YouTube? Coach Zion. Coach Zion is my YouTube channel. Uh, you can subscribe. It's Coach Zion. Uh, you can subscribe and uh, you can, uh, can search. Uh, this training is called New Activated Members Training. New Activated Members Training. Uh, just go on YouTube and you put in New Activated Members Training at Digital Adverts. You'll see my channel is Coach Zion. Uh, subscribe and also learn more learn more teach your people the, the the earning is in the learning the more you learn the more you will earn that's how this business works thank you guys guys we need to call it a day peter says thanks coach are you welcome uh, Pierre oh, coach says thanks a lot i'm already on it i'm already on it you're welcome i love adding value to people uh -huh. knowledge is power thanks for empowering us coach that is got katende twaha <laughs> All right, guys. God bless you. We call it a day. I love you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow at Equatorial Mall, 10 a.m. Make sure that you're there and invite, invite, invite massively. Thank you so much. God bless you. We call it uh, a day. Nice weekend. Nice Friday. <laughs>